Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm still on the holiday. The view, the sound, everything is different, but I didn't want to let go of the readings for you guys because I know for some of you it's super helpful. So I'm trying to make a couple of videos a week until I get back. I'm not taking personal readings and introspective hypnosis bookings just yet. Whenever I do, I promise to update you. Now, guys, since there are no objects and I don't have any cards to show for you, I want you to tune in and think on, of a number one, two, three, or four. Close your eyes, maybe one of those numbers will pop up. I know a lot of you have your own way of doing things, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. If you need some more time, stop the video. Or maybe you just want to pick a couple of piles and you will find advice or message there. I'll see you in timestamps. Hey, pile number one, people. So we're going to start with, I think, shall we do, let's do the in-between tarot. We're gonna start with this. Let's see what is happening the next seven to ten days from whenever you come across this video. What's gonna be more most important for you? I'm gonna start talking whenever I pull the cards. So just give me a minute because when my mic is quite close by, so if I'll talk over shuffling, I've noticed last time you won't be able to hear me very well most important mm. okay so what we have here for you we have the high priestess in this deck high priestess is slightly different as you can see we have the star which came out reversed. I'm gonna see how I want to read it because I kind of want, want to put it sideways. So it might be half half for you guys here. And then we have the eight of coins. So, okay, what's important the next week, week and a half for you guys is definitely um, connected to your goals in life. What you seek in, what it is that makes you feel good, you, I'd say when it comes to your self-esteem and when it comes to your work, whatever it is that you do in life, it's going to be a great week. For some of you, you're taking care of a child and that child is pretty special, but the way that this child makes me feel like it's almost like it's it doesn't necessarily have to be yours so maybe if you are teaching or maybe if you are looking after someone right someone who's not as knowledgeable not as capable even if this child is you know a little bit older it's uh, almost mm, this is deep it's almost like it's been put uh, this person this this child was put on your path for a reason you have a big impact on this person that's for sure you have a big impact on this person this is pretty sweet I like that for you you will feel needed you will feel like you're very confident in whatever it is that you do and other people are looking up to you there's one specific talent, ability that you have that's going to be needed the next week, week and a half, for which you're going to be acknowledged, cherished, and I'm seeing a big pat on the back. Let's continue. What can you tell us about work? Let's swap decks. I'm going to use the steampunk. Work. We have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands reversed. You have the Knight of Wands and one more card wants to pop up and the Ace of Wands. So you have two Aces here, which is nice to see. 
overall what what i'm feeling here with the ace of cups and the ten of wands reversed someone has finished a chapter or maybe a project in their work or you're going to decide to give yourself a bit of a break you you're going to do something that's going to be really impactful and you're going to decide to give yourself that time off or the way you prioritize tasks or the structure that you have in your work life is going to be a little bit different expect a new wave of inspiration coming for you you feel pretty inspired you want to explore places that you haven't maybe explored before you feel like you wanna you very much in your masculine energy here i'm seeing when it comes to work you go and get you done <laughs> literally that's the way i'm seeing this and whatever feels too much for you or if you feel like you cannot manage this project project or task how you'd like to you'll put it on the side until you feel ready um so you you're very strategic that's what i'm seeing here you're very strategic you are very curious look at this night of one space very curious and you see how she's dressed She's dressed in quite masculine clothes here. And that's why I'm saying you, you have the strong masculine energy. And look at the Ace of Wands. Look at that hand. It's super strong. So whatever it is that you're doing and whatever inspiration comes your way, you know that you can do it. Nothing is going to stop you. You're very driven. You're very focused. And you're able to determine very easily the next week what's for you and what's not okay let's take a look at your relationships i'd say watch out for a couple of you when it comes to next week do not do not overwork yourself so that message that i have passed saying you will know when to put something on the side for some of you this is more like an advice um notice when you take in too much on your shoulders okay I'm hearing it has to be fair. What's up with connections, relationships? Oof. <laughs> Pile one, wow. Let me show you the cards in a minute. All right, so what you have here Two of Wands reversed, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Very interesting. What I want to say, regardless of what type of relationship this is, someone um, has stopped waiting. Someone has stopped waiting, and someone has decided that almost when I see it's easier for them to sort something out or go by themselves and whoever this is connected to this person is being very patient taking notes about this connection and being very patient let's clarify five of pentacles there might be one more story here We have the fool. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone wants to explore something on their own. They've stopped waiting for something to happen. And they want to take a leap of faith here to get out of their comfort zone. So I'm hearing what I used to do before or what I was used to. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to do it differently. And the star, you're very focused on some type of a dream. We have star twice. A goal, a dream, something that you are wishing for. It seems like you're not going to be, um, you're not very easily influenced by any connection the next week. That's what I'm seeing here because your goal, you're very focused on what it is that you want to achieve. You're like, whatever it takes, I will get there. So for some of you, maybe this person would be a... Uh, helpful but for most of you it seems like you're deciding to distance yourself from this and to refocus
yeah the wheel of fortune is here mm -hmm. and a ton of pentacles whatever it is that you are dealing with here you what you need the next week week and a half is a very strong foundation so whoever provides you that strong foundation or you feel secure and safe with them that's the people you're gonna hang around with and some of these people can actually somehow help you out this can be your family members or ancestors i'm seeing here they can help you out overall i keep asking about relationship here maybe some of you if you are married this is your um, partner overall your your own family but it's it's very connected to your goals even though if i'm asking about relationship it keeps showing me your goals so let's talk about this a little bit more i'm gonna use the uh, steampunk kipper clarify the star please here Keep hearing, keep chasing, keep chasing. You're not too far away. We have the advisor. You have thief. You have journey reversed. So maybe you're delaying some kind of a trip here or you will have to. Um, doesn't have to be a, a big deal, maybe a couple of days. So you're just going to decide that it's not a right time or it's that journey is a bit further away from you. But what I'm, what I'm seeing here, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Advisor card and we have the Thief card, Theft you're not allowing anyone to take from you and it seems like this person has done it before whoever you're dealing with or you have a feeling and you are protecting yourself big time here you're like if i need you know advice from someone i'm gonna ask for it how to get something that i um i deserve so maybe some kind of legalities are involved here obviously this is a very specific scenario it might not be for everyone um and I'm telling you, you're very strategic. Whatever you do, you're very strategic. What's good coming your way? What's improving? What's improving? <laughs> you're not disappointed uh, about anything that's thrown your way. You're like, okay, let's move on. What's improving? Love life. Okay, um, as I said, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have a strong, strong backbone, strong foundation with some people in your life. It's saying keep focusing on that. So I truly hope that this made sense. This was quite specific. I hope it made sense for those who had to interpret it their own way. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pile two people. So let's start with the in-between tarot and let's see what we have main energies okay for the next week what's the main thing for your three cards i'm gonna show you the cards in a minute Ooh, wah wah wee wah okay very interesting. Oh, this is going to be quite specific. I'll try to make it as abstract as possible for everyone to be able to make sense of it. Look, we have the tower. And this deck is quite different. We have the knight of wands. And we have the devil. See those um, two cards from the size, the tower and the devil? It's almost like a continuation here. Um, because the devil leads to the, uh, as you can see on the side, to the tower card. And the tower card leads to the star card, right? So we're starting with the tower, the, key, the knight of wands, and the devil. Okay, what I'm seeing here. 
it seems like for some of you, you purposely either have done this before or you will about to do it. You purposely knocking something down in your life in order for you to start new. I'd say for some of you, you might be quite impatient the next week or you might have um, angry outbursts. Um, that's something to watch out for. Um, because since we, we have a tower first and the devil last, this might rebuild itself. Right? So we're starting with the, with the tower. Sorry, it's mirroring my, uh, my screen. So something is being knocked down here. These people are walking away, but the way I'm picking this up intuitively, something was done without a structure, without taking some time to think about it. So that's why I'm saying when it comes to um, feeling like you want to do it here and now, you want to do something here and now, and Knight of Wands is very fast energy too, right? It's saying give yourself extra time because it something might rebuild itself and come up in a similar way. So this seems to me almost like repetitive pattern of some sorts that's going to be shown for you the next week, week and a half in order for you to sort it out. Okay? It's saying pay attention to it. It's going to be shown to you. You have all the power to change things up. But I'm, I'm feeling almost frustrated. Someone might be feeling frustrated. And with frustration, when you, when you make a decision, it's saying be careful about that because you got to take a little bit more time. Once you quiet um, your mind, once you calm yourself down, that's when you should be making decisions the next week, week and a half. What an interesting story. Let's clarify the tower. I'm hearing you think, you thought that you ran away from something or you finished a chapter, but it's showing itself again to you because something wasn't finished something was ignored or something wasn't being wasn't acknowledged something was missed out you have the uh, two of wands clarifying the tower You have the justice. Yeah, this is something that is uh, contractual, I want to say, right? This is something that needs to be paid attention to. So I'd say be quite reflective the next week, week and a half, because things will be shown to your face. Okay, and this is your opportunity to learn and grow. Let's clarify the devil. You have the Page of Swords. And you have the Moon. Yeah, the way that I'm looking at these cards is saying do not ignore what's being shown to you the next week, week and a half. Take a chance to learn from the situation rather than saying, oh, again, you know. I mean, it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying what I'm seeing here. It's saying do not, uh, do not choose the um, comfortable, comfortable way out. What you used to do before, pay attention to what wasn't working. That's why it's being repetitively shown to you again and again. Whatever that would be. You know yourself best. What is this connected to? Let's take the Steampunk Kipper. Let's narrow it down a little bit. Um, I'm hearing also, know what you're walking towards to. Is this connect to please endings and losses okay so maybe one chapter finished you thought that you've learned from this situation and it in it's gonna show itself again or it did because for some of you this is quite present is this connected to a young woman but what I'm paying attention to is her chest there is a clock over there 
So maybe time, maybe someone is very impatient, someone doesn't have patience and frustrate, gets frustrated and saying, we're trying to teach you that a little bit more. And the older woman, feminine energy is quite strong here. So um, if you, if something happened between you and a strong feminine energy, um, you are being taught something here. It's saying pay attention. If the chapter was over and done with before and it kept, you know, showing itself maybe in different ways or different people would approach you and similar scenarios would happen. It's saying pay attention. We we giving you a chance to learn from this with a page of swords, okay? Instead of um keeping it a mystery for your consciousness, it's saying um, implement it, okay, implement it and pay attention to that, so this doesn't rebuild itself and it doesn't come up as a devil for you in the future, you have a big chance to learn here and improve and grow, which is very nice, but I know sometimes people get frustrated with messages like that, okay, let's see, how is the work? And finances. How is the work and finances? We have the King of Cups. How is work and finances? You have the Empress. You're pretty proud of yourself in your workspace. You're proud of what you achieved because you've done a lot of things by heart, or you will be doing it. We have the Fool. And you have the five of swords. Okay, so let me see. Bottom of the deck, the hermit reversed. So some of you have been struggling in the recent past. Um, and you, you struggled with either consistency or something quite particular in your work situation. It's saying, again, this is discomfort, guys. The... Um, Fool and the Five of Swords, it's all about, okay, let me be uncomfortable. And the Fool is looking at the Empress, okay? Well, it's that way. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my, Mac, my Mac is mirroring, mirroring the uh, image. The Fool is looking at the Empress. And the Fool is quite curious. And the Fool is thinking, hey, how would it feel like to be an Empress in my work? In my career let me explore that so maybe this is a quite a new structure that you are coming across or there's going to be some kind of a uh, discussion that you will have with someone that's going to make you want to do more to do to do better and to do everything from heart with the king of cups so there are two two sides over here what i'm seeing the king of cups and the empress go together and the Fool and the Five of Swords is a bit of a separate story. It's almost like you have a choice what it is that you're going to focus on the next week. Do you want to focus on your Empress or Emperor type of energy where you are quite successful and you're quite, you know, you're very confident in yourself. But that confidence comes from the heart space, which is very interesting for me to see and very beautiful actually. Um, and then there is one more story here where you might encounter someone or a situation where it might make you a little bit frustrated uh, and maybe this is connected to what we talked in the beginning right that frustration or how do you want to approach a discussion will it turn into an argument or will you say hey let me explore different ways of doing things which will then lead you to the king of cups and the empress okay let's see what is um improving the next week week and a half work 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 you're working pretty hard here you're working hard you know what you deserve you're gonna have much more motivation than before it's strength and stamina is coming through here we have the young woman collectively i'm already seeing that for a lot of people feminine energy will be important the next week week and a half what's improving relationship with a feminine and we have the great happiness here let's clarify the great happiness let's see how will this show up 
If you can hear babies crying, my friends have a newborn twins. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. You want to explore. You want to explore the next week. You want to you wanna be in different places, try different things. I'd say this is a good week for you when it comes to work for communication. <laughs> I was about to say that. King of Swords is here. For communication, sharing your wisdom and what it is that you have learned in your life already. It's going to be appreciated big time. You have the Ten of Wands reversed, which is nice. And you have the Sun card. Here you go. So you live in some kind of a trouble or difficulties behind in your workplace. But somehow what helps you out is by speaking up and sharing your knowledge. Okay? Mm-hmm. Let's quickly check on what what's up with your relationships, and this can be any type of relationship. What's up with your relationships, pile two? You have the three of pentacles. This reminds me of work connections. You have the ten of swords. You have the fool. Listen, the fool keeps popping up, you know. Uh, pile one, pile two. Um, this is all about the next week, week and a half is all about stepping out of your comfort zone and not doing the same things all over again. Um, you have a chance to change things up big time, okay? Six of Swords is here. Let me see what kind of person you're dealing with here. Can you describe this person, please? You have the Emperor. Maybe your boss or someone who's quite respected. Doesn't necessarily have to be a boss for all of you, obviously. Someone who holds this, you know, strong, independent energy about them. You have the Seven of Swords. Interesting tea. <laughs> tea, tea, tea. Let me have a sip of coffee with that because this is interesting. Okay, what's going on, pile two? Man, if this resonates already in your current situation, please let me know down below. Obviously, if you'd like to share. What is going on? Page of Pentacles. What I'm seeing here... Um, Work connections will be quite important for you the next week, week and a half. You might decide, I don't know, for some of you, maybe you quit your job or you're about to do that, or to cut some type of BS off in your workplace. Because something was, I don't really like the Emperor and the Seven of Swords together, because for me, this is almost like someone who is, who wants to use their power to, not to the best. That's, let me put it that way, okay? Not for the best intentions. Since my page of pentacles is quite mysterious, as you can see, we have the seven of swords here as well, and we have the emperor. I'd say watch out when it comes to people in your work or someone you collaborate with. What are their intentions behind what it is that they offer or what it is that they say? Okay, because for some of you, you will be like, sayonara, bitches, I don't want this, this is not vibing. <laughs> Ten of Swords, the Fool, okay, St finishing this chapter completely, stepping out of your comfort zone, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on, I'm done. I'm moving on and I'm done. What an energy. I'd say, um, avoid shade the nest the next week week and a half but since you have a really good um intuition here guys you're gonna be sensing it already yourself you won't need any clarifiers i'm seeing here you'll know exactly when this will happen or if it happens at all because this is quite a general reading let's see what good happens after this what's good happening here um one more thing i would want to say Anyone that you look up to, don't put them on a pedestal. Especially this type of person that, we, that we're talking about here. 
it's gonna sh sound harsh but for many of you this person is not worth putting on a pedestal I just have to say what I'm seeing what I'm seeing filter the messages out as usual what suits your story what doesn't what good will come out of this for you why did you have to why do you have to go through this we yeah you are seeking for better partnerships because whatever this is this is not a good partnership for you now this can be work or this can be actual romantic relationship mm, cards are flying we have advisor yeah it's like you you want better more stable more I don't want to say more stable is not the word maybe here more honest type of relationships and that's what the situation will be teaching you what's improving with this what's improving number three might be important for some of you here um, your stress levels are lowering down I said what's improving stress and fear um, it's almost like someone has gone through a situation that was continuous. It feels to me that this was a continuous um, scenario. It kept maybe going on for a while where one day you're like, mm -mm, not doing this anymore. Um, this isn't good for me. This isn't healthy for me anymore. I got to go. I got to move on. I got to do what I have to do in order for me to seek for better partnerships. Because maybe for some of you, you are suffering from stress, anxiety, or fear, or you did in the recent past, and you're like, I don't want this anymore. I don't, I don't deserve this, okay? I don't deserve this. I want to move on. So that's what I have for panel number two. Super interesting um, scenario. I hope those who have chosen this pile, you are able to translate it and apply it to your situation because I was being quite specific here and I hope this is helpful. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Pile three people. So I had a little bit of a tech issue here. Since I'm on my laptop, um, I didn't notice that I, uh, I went overboard with time. And I don't know, I couldn't save the video. I need to upgrade my my software, that's for sure. I know my poor Mac. But since I have already pulled the cards for you, I want, I want to keep it there. And uh, I started talking about your relationship the next week, week and a half, whatever relationship that would be for you. That is the most important. You have the Six of Wands. You have the Knight of Swords. You have, that's there, seven of coins. You have knight of wands, by the way, this is in between tarot. You have the hero find, nine of cups, the star, and more cards that I'm going to show you a bit later on because it came last. Okay. When it comes to your connections, when it comes to your relationships, guys, what I'm sensing here for a lot of you, there is that strengthening of connections happening. For some of you, this is your marriage. For others of you, this is some kind of a contract uh, maybe that you made prior to incarnating with someone. Uh, but the, uh, the vibe of this connection... I'm seeing someone who is trying very hard um, and someone who wants to be really helpful, someone who's working a lot. And the other person seems a little bit more ba laid back. So for some of you, there might be a bit of frustration if that's you who's fighting for whatever it is in this connection. And you're like, look at the Knight of Swords here. Um, seems like he's showing other people something, how to do things, right? But he's very mad. He's like, look at this. <laughs> um, so I'd say some people, if there is almost like a, this vibe of a connection where someone is trying more than the other, this might be frustrating for some of you. But towards the end, what I'm seeing, you have the Nine of Cups and you have the Hero Fund. So some kind of a situation that might be triggering at first, um, it might lead to strengthening a bond here. And a star is here, right? Um, overall, I'm seeing for some of you stronger 
connection it can be your own child or it can be someone who tends to act childish sometimes and what you're doing you want them to help out you're like listen i'm gonna show you how to do things i can advise you i can do this and that and you're hoping for this person to take your advice on board or maybe vice versa and um, why I said this is contractual for me, we have the justice, we have death as well. Um, this seems like it's meant to happen that way. At first, it might not be comfortable, but some kind of rebirth has to take place in this connection, that's for sure. Uh, your gut, your intuition will know everything about this. Um, a wake-up call is happening with the judgment over here, okay? Someone is waking up to something here in this connection, that's for sure. And look at the high priestess in this deck. Maybe for some of you, this is connected to your child. You might be sensing something about your child um, or someone who, as I said, tends to maybe have this um, hmm, childish energy about them or they tend to act like a child sometimes, but someone is having a wake-up call, that's for sure. That's going to change a lot of things around here in this connection. If someone is going to the wedding, um, have fun because I'm seeing, I'm sensing wedding, wedding vibes here. If you are getting married, congratulations. Maybe getting proposed to, not for many of you. I don't want to ruin this vibe, this surprise, right? But let's continue. Let's see what you can expect when it comes to your work. What can you expect when it comes to your work? I'm going to use the steampunk deck. What can you expect when it comes to your work? You have the lovers. I'm seeing for some of you getting along with someone who has a different either religion or they come from a different background. You have the hermit reversed. Maybe you're feeling a bit more social the next week, week and a half. Oof. You have the hero font. You are eager to learn in your workplace or to teach one or the other. Okay, the page of cups is here as well as the hero font. Either you're teaching someone or you're learning from someone here. Um, someone might reach out to you or you might communicate with a person who... Um, who has a lot of wisdom to offer. But the advice here, what I'm seeing for pile number three, you're being asked to um, come out of your hermit mode, especially when it comes to work, okay? There are a lot of things waiting for you. Yeah, told you, six of wands is here. You appreciate the next week, week and a half for the work that you're doing. A lot of people um, are looking your way, maybe seeking for advice. We have the moon reversed. Okay. Oof. Okay, okay. Let's take all of them. I think I have four cards. Mm. You have the queen of swords. You have the ten of wands reversed. You have the justice. And you have a devil. Okay. Justice will be served. Definitely the moon is reversed here. All secrets that or something that was hidden from you or you were not certain about something is going to come to light. Clarity is there, that's for sure. And for some of you, cutting something off, maybe a habit that you have that's not helping you out in your work situation, or you're switching things up because you're like, oh, you know what, I'm not sure I like doing this this way. You know, it's too much for me, too much of a hassle. It became a little bit, I don't want to say toxic, but a bit heavy on me. And yeah, definitely, ten of so, uh, ten of wands is reversed here. You are doing things a bit. You're choosing an easier way, but because you're doing it in, in the smart way. It's all about working smart, not hard for you the next week, week and a half. That's for sure. And your strategy, your approach will be seen, will be appreciated. For sure. Nice. Let's see what else here, guys. What is improving for you the next week, week and a half? Let's use the Kipper deck. You have living room, see, you have a lot of books here. You are really good at communication as well as what you say to people. It's all about learning and teaching 
And it's all about being curious and sharing your wisdom the next week, week and a half. You have changed, but it came in reverse. So maybe for some of you, you are being a little bit more patient with your move um, or movement forward. You have meet and get together. Yeah, it's, it's almost like you're becoming a bit more social than before, guys. What I'm seeing here, maybe before you used to be again, as I said, in that hermit mode. Now you're being a little bit more social, maybe reaching out to someone um, that you haven't reached out to for a while. Or you have a get-together, because now you can. And you have work occupation. So there's a good balance between social life as well as work life here. Um, you want to improve yourself and the way you live, your lifestyle, pile number three. Which... I think for some of you, you're going to be surprised how you approach things the next week in your life because it's almost like I'm hearing it, it's a new me or I I haven't done this before, that I wouldn't have done this before. Um, nice. Number three or four might be important for some of you. And you have thoughts in reverse. So maybe before you were struggling with your own thoughts, what you were telling yourself. And the next week, week and a half, you're going to be much better at it. Maybe if you had too many ideas, you're going to be able to settle for a um, couple at first and prioritize what needs to be prioritized and put everything else in a box. What's improving? You have the Page of Swords again. It's all about learning. It's all about mastering that sword. Your maybe speech or the way you, um, what you think and what you say. You can elaborate better. We have the King of Swords. Yeah, I mean, it's all about communication. And it's all about your wisdom, okay? And again, remember how I said there's that teacher and student type of connection here. Um, it's very strong. It's very strong, so maybe you're going to find an advisor of some sort or someone that you you want wisdom from and they can offer that. You're vibing together. You met for a reason, guys. Look, even this Knight of Swords, it's all about swords. Uh, it seems like he's teaching other people how to do things, okay? I'm hearing tough love for some of you or tough teachings. <laughs> maybe that's something that you like yourself because look at this guy's face. He's like, look at this. I'm showing you how to do this. Okay. And all of the people are watching. He's like, I'm passionate about what I do. I learned it the hard way because now he's the king of swords. Right. And he has students still coming to him and saying, hey, can you teach me how to use the sword over here? How do I do this? I'm ready. I'm ready, okay? I'm vibing. I'm ready. So a very beautiful connection between a student and teacher. Interpret it your own way. Uh, please, if you know what this is about, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. Hey, number four. So first of all, let's check. Let me fix my mic. My earphones, not my mic. Let's check what is the main energy for you. We're going to be using the in-between tarot for you here today. Let's see. What is the main energy for you the next week, week and a half? Nice. Nine of coins is here. Hmm. Okay, you have the Page of Cups. Giving me a vibe of someone who is very free-spirited or sees the world from a different perspective. And you have the Ace of Wands. This is beautiful, Pile 4. Okay, the next week, week and a half is all about your own independence. It's all about uh, you fighting for what you believe in. Uh, you are pretty proud of how far you've come and what you have achieved and you might get rewards from I want to say universal rewards because there is something that you're gonna do or you've done that was quite unique different unique you didn't chase you invented 
that's the way that this sounds, okay? If you hear any background noises, I'm in my friend's house and people are gathering for barbecue now. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. The Ace of Wands, you know how I'm seeing this card over here? It's almost like um, you're being given a new opportunity. You think um, that it's it's universe, God, whatever you believe in, giving it to you. But actually, this is you who has done it on your own. Fire might be important the next week, week and a half. Connect to fire however you want to do this. Uh, you already know how you do your magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, this can be just sitting and staring at a fireplace, okay? It's Fire is going to give you something. And overall, you're pretty, you're pretty motivated and you're pretty proud of what it is that you do in life here, you see? And it's all about community for you the next week, week and a half. What about relationships, guys, for you next week, week and a half? Nine of Cups. You're pretty happy to see someone. Someone is waiting for you. Or you are waiting for someone. And that's going to be a dream come true. Very, very sweet vibe. I'm hearing you came back. Here you are again. Knight of Wands. I'm hearing, look what I bought. We have the Ten of Swords. And look what I've been through. So you are connecting to someone here and you're having a pretty open and nice conversation about how many things you have been through or this person has. This can be vice versa for some of you guys, okay? I've over, I overcame this. Someone might be asking about your own battles. Someone is really interested in how you overcame certain situations and how you manage to do certain things. I'm here and give me advice on that because I really want to know. Ace of Cups. And look, even in Ace of Cups, there is someone standing behind you. You are definitely not feeling alone the next week, week and a half. There is a lot of appreciation and not only universal, as I like to say, but also from people who love you, appreciate you, and they will want to give you much more than maybe you expect because it seems like you are you are that type of people who don't have many expectations and you're just like, yeah, I'm just doing it from my heart, you know? So expect rewards, you know? Uh, law of balance, gonna be given back. Ace of Cups, let's see what that's about. We have Eight of Bonds. Expect a message that's going to inspire you from someone. You're not going to be expecting that message. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Expect. It's going to come out of the blue. And that's going to bring you. Three of Wands. Someone might be asking for you to go on to some kind of adventure here or decide where you're going next. Because someone missed you big time, okay? funny because I can see people preparing um, for barbecue whilst I'm doing tarot. <laughs> Everyone is doing their own thing, right? The guys are putting the charcoal in. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, Six of Cups is here. A reunion, a beautiful reunion the next week, we can have. Now, this can be with someone that you've known in this life, or this can be someone that you're going to be reunited with from the past life. Okay, either or. But whatever this is, it feels like home. It feels like I've missed you so much. Um, we have a lot to talk about. And how have you been? And I'm, and I'm feeling almost like a very warm hug. Beautiful connections are going to be great for you the next week, week and a half. Let's take a look at your work and finances. Mm -hmm. Let's use the steampunk deck. Bottom of a deck, right? Two of cups. Mm -hmm. One card. 
Okay, listen, listen, guys, all of you, <laughs> all of the piles. Star keeps chasing everyone this next week, week and a half. Focus on your goals, doesn't matter how big uh, they seem, okay? You can reach it. Don't give up. For a lot of people, I want to say don't give up on your goals. That's your focus. You have the Seven of Swords. Let's see what's that about. Work. You have Justice. All secrets will come to light or hidden information. Something that you were uncertain about is going to be co coming to light, okay? The Chariot. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords here. Um, I'd say the Ace of Cups. When it comes to signing up, con signing new contracts or signing anything that is new, um, look at and read the small font. Look at contracts, okay? With the Justice and Seven of Swords here. Make sure everything is clear for you. Make sure you have no more questions. Make sure that you are getting what you sign up for, okay? Don't be afraid to ask extra questions. And if any documents had to be sent off, signed, or approved, I'd say give yourself extra time, okay? So do it a little bit earlier than you are planning to. You have the Four of Cups. Let's see what is that about. You have the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Some of you are bored with what you have the next week, week and a half, and you will want to switch things up, or you're bored of your work, and you're like, mm, let me think of something new. But if, if that's going to be the case, as I said before, make sure you, if you're leaving a job, or you're thinking about leaving a job, or switching things up, make sure wherever you go, it's um, a place that's going to give you more than you are receiving now. For some of you might be just bored. I'm not seeing that work is that bad for most of you here in pile number four. But sometimes maybe you lose motivation. You think, oh, or you lose your spark and everything else might become boring around you. It's saying you have the spark, okay? You are your own spark. So... Maybe some of you would be beneficial, for some of you would be beneficial taking some time off the next week, week and a half, and switch it up, do something different. Have a long weekend away somewhere if you can, obviously. As I said, weekend away, look at the page of swords here, it seems like he just landed, right? So maybe go and explore, because some of you really seem to me like you need some time off from work the next week, week and a half. Nine of Wands, yeah, you're like, oh, see, this guy keeps looking. He's like, what is there? I want to explore. So if you have an opportunity to travel with work, maybe that would be great for you. I'm hearing, let me get out, let me get out. And the Ten of Cups is here, okay? You can have this happiness, it's saying, but um, it's in you. It's in you, okay? Just bring it out of yourself a little bit more or switch things up. The next week, week and a half. Okay, let's see what is improving for you. What's improving for you? Let's use the Steampunk Kipper. What's improving for you? You have work occupation. <laughs> see, this guy has a lot of stamina and strength. It seems like some of you need a break in order to come back with more uh, power. main man relationship with strong masculines in your life if you have any issues right now it's going to be improving and you have advisor a lot of uh, piles had advisor card if there is a need for professional advice i would highly suggest for people to seek for it especially if it comes to documents or 
formalities and all of that stuff okay but if you're seeking for advice you're gonna have a person who will be very helpful for you since advisor sits in opposition what's improving so tribe thank you very much for coming back love you as always and i'll catch you soon bye for now